Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, join me as I try my hand at those splatter screen pumpkins. So, all right, so I have one of these Dollar Tree splatter screens. Is that what they're even called? I don't know. So I paint it, I put some orange on it, and now I have some napkins. These are from Dollar Tree as well. And, all right, friends, somebody, one of you suggested this, and I am blown away. So to get the two pieces apart, I put two pieces of tape on either side and put... <sighs> Holy mind blown. Anyways, let's get back to the project. <laughs> I make the napkin down to one ply and then I cover the splatter screen on the back side with Mod Podge, including the edge. And I put my napkin right side down onto the splatter screen. And then I gently, now listen, when I say gently, it's really a thin napkin now, right? So we wanna make sure we don't tear it. So I'm being super gentle, but I'm putting another layer of um, Mod Podge down. All right, now let it dry. After we do that, we are going to sand off the excess napkin. Ta-da! Look at how pretty it looks already. All right. So listen, friends, this, you don't have to do this part, but I'm using my Tim Holtz um, distressing stuff, and I'm distressing the back and the center of it. Now listen, again, you don't have to do this part, but I love that grungy, primitive vibe, so that's what I'm doing. But it looked really pretty without it, so... This is absolutely optional, but look at how cool this is. This is the back side, remember though, okay? So here is the front side. Look at how fun. Are you kidding me? All right, so then I'm going to wrap some jute around the handle and I'm going from the top down and I'm starting in the um, handles hole so that way um, we can have a place where we can put a hanger on after. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around. I'm putting some glue on the handle just so that the jute doesn't shift or anything like that and just wrap 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 all the way down and then when you get near the end see how it tapers um, I actually put some more glue on the the side and the reason why I did that was because it wants to when you do this it wants to kind of um, what's the word <laughs> it wants to shift um, and then I just cut the end and glued it down ta-da Perfect. All right, now I'm making some of those tendrils for the pumpkin. So I'm just wrapping some wired jute around a dowel and then I'm folding it in half and just wrapping it around the handle. Then I made a messy bow and this is just with fabric. Um, you've seen me do this before. It's just crisscross applesauce. And then I tie it in the center with some jute. And I'm actually tying this on because I wasn't sure if I wanted to put it on or not, but are you kidding me? I absolutely love this now here's the thing friends you could stop right here I think it looks super cute just like this um and you'll see look at how cute looks adorable like this right but you know I gotta be extra why not right so I then went ahead and glued on some Spanish moss on the top and I actually tied on some raffia and um I am loving it I hope this inspires you friends thanks for watching